Hello, this is Robert, and in this video I would like to discuss some common problems that can happen when you are using Visual Studio. The first situation I would like to discuss is if you only have a source code file that you saved from another uh, computer or something like that. So if you only have the source code file, um, that's not going to allow you to run the, the um, executable on your computer. Visual Studio requires that you have a project so you can't run your executable until you have a project. Let's see what happens if we just open up the source.cpp file. It will open up in a window that looks like it's in a project but in reality, this is not a project, it's just the source code file, so we won't be able to compile it and run it. Notice that the local debug window or local debug button is now called attach, and then if we go up to build, there is no build button or build item, and if we want to run it, there is no run under the debug menu right there. Okay, so we can't what we have to do is we have to create a, uh, a project first and then we can add the source code file to our project. So let's go up here and we'll create a new project. Make sure it's general and empty project. And then what we can do when the Solution Explorer has the source, source files folder right there Instead of adding a new item, we can add an existing item. And then I can navigate to the desktop and select my source.cpp file. And now it is going to be part of my project. And we have access to the local Windows debugger and we can build our solution now. Okay, so keep in mind that you always have to have a project open in Visual Studio. The second problem or second situation that can happen is that sometimes you might want to save your source code file as a different, um, as, a, as a separate file. Um, and what, you can do that easily by selecting file and then save as. Remember in the previous video? when I showed you that you can mouse over the title of the window right there and it tells you where the file is located. Well, let's go ahead and save this source code file. And I'm just going to leave it as the, the same name, but I'm going to place it maybe in the documents folder. Okay, so I'm going to save source.cpp in the documents folder. So now it looks like I'm back to my project, but in reality, Visual Studio switched to the file that's in the documents folder. So any changes that I make to my source code file, such as cout, um, how are you, for example, and then if I try to compile and run this, it won't actually show up in, in the output because I'm working on the wrong file. So whenever you save uh, your source code file to a separate location, there's a couple of things we need to make sure to do. Okay, so there's the output file and notice that none of my changes showed up in the command prompt window right there. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that I'm working with this, the correct file. What I can do is I can mouse over it and I can see, well, that one's in the documents folder. And then what I can do is I can mouse over the source code file here and then double click on it. And now it says I have two source.cpp files open. And the one that I just double clicked on is part of the project. The one that I saved in the documents folder is not. So whenever you save your source code file to a separate location or a different location, 
you should always come back to your source.cpp file which is in your source files folder and double click on it to make sure that you're working on the right file. Okay, thanks.